Hey, happy Monday, everybody. Welcome back, Ricky Bobby. Southern Ontario, palms and tropicals. Remember, tropicals can also mean fish. Who knows, right? Anyway, happy Monday. So, frag tank today. This is, uh, hoping I can shed a little something here on some stuff I've learned. And maybe there's people out here that are just learning this kind of stuff and they're clicking through channels and videos and all that stuff. So, um, <clears throat> so I'm kind of new at a bare bottom tank as opposed to the main display that's full coral reef. So, when you're gonna have a tank like this, which is technically, this is this is actually a quarantine tank for, for coral. And I've got crabs and stuff in there too. So I don't want substrate. Um, I wanna be able to clean the tank really well. Problem is when you don't have substrate like uh, this stuff, which is like a ragonite, they call it. It's like basically like crushed coral beach sand. Um, and we have live rock. All of that stuff, as some of you know, of course, holds uh, nitrifying bacteria, anaerobic bacteria, all that stuff. Uh, that is continually uh, cycling and using the ammonia that comes from the fish and dead food and all the stuff in there that, that dies and, and things like that, waste that breaks down, and then converts it to nitrite. And then the nitrite gets converted to nitrate. And the nitrates get used via algae, uh, coral, or water changes. So when we have a tank like this, and we don't have a substrate, and we don't have any live rock, uh, Basically, it's impossible to just have bacteria because bacteria need something to live in and grasp onto. And it doesn't grasp onto the bottom of a glass tank that you always have swishing around and you're siphoning it up and everything. So there's, there's a couple things. Well, actually, there's one main thing I did. And so this is kind of what I've done. And a lot of people do this, okay? So what I did was this tank here is six months old. It's properly cycled. Everything is good. So in chamber number three of this sump, for the last six months, I have had this bag of biomedia. Now this one right here, oops, this is the Fluvel biomedia that comes with the Fluvel Evo. And this biomedia is biomedia that came with this Fluvel, or sorry, this AquaClear Mini. Problem is, the stuff that came with the Mini came to a brand new tank. It's never been in water before. So uh, it has gotten some exposure the last little while, but only a couple weeks worth. So what you do is you take this bag of biomedia here, which is just a bunch of uh, very porous white, um, you can see them here. They're like little, oops, sorry, little oval nuggets almost. You know what I mean? And they're very, very porous. So it allows lots of surface area for the bacteria to adhere to. So I took, the, I took it out of this tank. So we already know that it's been there for six months. It has a lot of bacteria growing on it. Same as the substrate in here in the live rock. Put it in the filter and it's gonna help develop and take care of business in this tank. While this other one also, and I, this is probably something unique Probably not many people have done this, but maybe they have, I don't know. I was able to shove another bag of biomedia into the intake area of this filter. And as you can see, there is water moving over it. So it is getting uh, a good flush. So that is what you do to help. Some guys put some stuff um, in the tank. Some guys who are doing quarantine uh, will just put a piece of live rock in there. Uh, which has lots of bacteria as well. It's all very similar. Um, these are just kind of small, but at the end of the day, this is a small tank. It's five gallons. And I have a uh, scarlet hermit crab, uh, a blue, two blue-legged and a Halloween hermit crab. And uh, I got some corals. And uh, actually this is kind of neat. See that right there? It looks like crap, right? That is my first attempt at, at fragging a pulsing Xenia. I just super glued it down to that frag plug five minutes ago. So obviously you look at it right now and it's not happy. Um, if it does do well and this does work, I will do a video on fragging Xenia. There's a couple on the internet. Some of them are a little weird um, and not, not all of them were clear. So if it works, I will do a video this week for you guys out there that want to learn about pul uh, fragging very soft corals like pulsing Xenia. Anyway, guys, this is just uh, my little frag tank. It's got the AI Prime 16 HD, brand new with the mount. And uh, I also installed another wave maker this week. So I got lots of flow because uh, my Gonopora shriveled up and uh, I was having some issues with my Zoanthid shriveling up. So I added the flow and I'm using my light setting on here 
uh, currently is from Remy at Bahama Llama. He sent it to me. So thanks again, Remy. I really appreciate it. And hopefully everything does well. Okay, guys, happy reefing.